In this video, we're going to see how to add and subtract polynomials. Let's start with addition. I'm going to give you an example. In this example, we will need to add two polynomials. Um, as you can see, we're adding two trinomials, right? So this is the first polynomial. It has three terms and it's called trinomial. We're adding, that's the operation in between them. and polynomials are enclosed in the parentheses and I'm adding one more trinomial. Now to add polynomials what I'll do it's actually the easiest operation. Um, I'll just clear the parentheses I'll just drop the parentheses without changing anything and then I'll combine like terms. So, so step one I'll write that down step one clear the parentheses. I am literally rewriting my two polynomials with no parentheses and I'm keeping that sign that's uh, that operation between them plus 2t to the fourth power plus t minus 10 like that. And then I'll need to combine like terms that's going to be step two. So step two, combine like terms. Okay, so let's see which terms are the like terms. Now, what is the term with the highest power, with the highest degree? I think it's t to the fourth power, right? The fourth power is the highest one. Do I have any like terms for that? I don't think so. I don't have any other t's to the fourth power, so it means that I'm just going to rewrite it. Now, what's the next power if I go in the descending order? It's the third power, but again, I don't have anything to combine it, combine it with, so I'll just rewrite it plus 6t to the third power. Next, I have just t or power 1, so I have uh, 4t and then just t. 4t plus t. Remember, when no coefficient is written in front, of the, in front of the variable, the actual coefficient is 1. So here, coefficient is 1. In other words, 4t plus 1t is going to be 5t. And then I have just the numbers or constants left. So 2 and then, then minus 10. I will combine those as well, of course. So 2 minus 10 that's negative 8, so minus 8. And that's going to be the answer. So once I add those two polynomials, I end up with another polynomial, and here it is. Next, we're going to try to subtract. So as you can see, addition is pretty easy, right? There is nothing special here. We just need to carefully find and combine like terms. Now, let's try subtraction. Subtraction is a little bit more interesting. So let's see how we perform that. I'm going to write down an example. So we're going to do this example. We're going to subtract, well, that is the minus sign in between the polynomials. That's why I know I'm subtracting. Why are we subtracting? Um, this is the first polynomial. It has one, two, two terms. So remember how, how it's called? It's called binomial. So we're going to take this binomial, 6m plus 7, and we're going to subtract another binomial, 3m minus 4. Now, when we perform subtraction, technically we'll, we're following the same steps. So step one, clear the parentheses, and then step two, combine like terms. But it's the step one that we have to be very careful about. So how do we clear parentheses when we're subtracting? Now, the first set of parentheses we can clear well, with no changes, um, since we don't really have anything in front of the parentheses. So I'll just rewrite 6m plus 7 without parentheses. However, to clear the second set of parentheses, I have to be especially careful because that minus sign that's in front is going to affect everything that's inside the parentheses. So this is how we clear parentheses in this case. We think as if we have negative 1 in front of those parentheses. In fact, that negative 1 is being multiplied by the expression. And to properly multiply number by any expression, we have to what's called distribute that number. Distribute means that we have to apply that number to every term. And we're going to 
In other words, we're going to multiply that number that's in front of the parentheses by every term that's inside. So negative 1 times 3m. Well, I will be multiplying numbers here, right? So negative 1 times 3. That's negative 3. So I'm going to write minus 3m. And next, negative 1 times negative 4. Negative times negative is positive, so it's going to be plus 4. So that's called distributive property, and in this case we have to multiply. Multiply by negative 1. Now, that's going to be the way for us to clear the parentheses when we're subtracting, by uh, subtracting polynomials. And after that, step 2 is, as we said, combining like terms. Nothing different here, so what are the like terms in this expression? It's 6m and negative 3m. So 6m minus 3m is 3m, because it's 6 minus 3, right? And then 7 plus 4 gives me 11, plus 11. And that's the answer. So let's try subtracting polynomials one more time. I'm going to give you one more example. So this is our next example. We need to take trinomial y squared plus 3y minus 9 and subtract uh, trinomial negative 6y squared plus 8y minus 1. So let's follow the steps. So the first step is to clear the parentheses. And every time we're subtracting, we have to be careful how we clear the second set of parentheses because we have to represent that negative as negative 1 times the expression. And that means that that negative 1 has to be multiplied by every single term inside the parentheses. And the only thing that negative multiplication by negative 1 does is that all signs will change, right? Because remember, multiplication by 1 does not change anything. But in multiplication by negative 1 will just switch all sides to opposites. So let's see how it's going to look like. Now, the first expression upon I'm just rewriting with no parentheses, no changes here, since there is nothing in front of the parentheses. But then... Let's see what happens with the second polynomial. So negative 1 times negative 6. That's positive. Negative times negative is positive. Positive 6. So I'm going to be writing plus 6y to the second power. Negative 1 times positive 8. Negative times positive. It's negative. So minus 8y. And then finally negative 1 multiplied by negative 1. It's positive. So plus 1. So when I clear the parentheses, I want to make sure that all terms are separated by pluses and minuses, and I don't have any blank spots. After that, we're combining like terms. So y squared plus 6y squared, that's one pair of like terms, right? Uh, remember, y squared is the same as 1y squared, so 1 plus 6, that's 7y squared. Next, next we can do 3y and negative 8y. 3 minus 8, that's negative 5. So it's going to be negative 5 or minus 5y. And then finally, negative 9 and plus 1. Negative 9 plus 1, that's negative 8. And that's the answer.